So, hi guys, uh, episode 3, Knives by the Sea. As you can see, we're not in my workshop today, we're here uh, at my home. Uh, and I have a very, very special, me a sp a special message for you. So, hereby official, Imero Designs, my company, is doing a knife making collaboration with We Knives. I sold my Mythalus design. Uh, so, it was really exciting for me as a designer. I'm a 36 hours a week, I work as a LED lighting designer. We make fixtures at the company I work. Uh, and in the weekends I design and make knives. Uh, have been so doing so for the past two, three years. Uh, and now I, I did my first collab with a major manufacturer. So I want to tell you about it, uh, how the process was, what I had to figure out, etc. Uh, and what was, what's up for the future. So uh, We Knives is like one of the most well-known Chinese manufacturers. Uh, I guess they're top three. They make mostly uh, uh, mid tech knives, uh, and you can compare them with Riati or uh, Kaiser knives. Uh, and then you have Wee knives, and just look at their Instagram. It's full of uh, very interesting design. Uh, and yeah, we're doing a collaboration, uh, hopefully next year. And uh, I'll, I'll 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 tell you how it, this all came to be. So, it was around the beginning of October uh, and I was driving with a colleague in my car uh, and we, were, we, were, we had to go through a meeting somewhere in the middle of the Netherlands um, and I was like, I want to do a knife collab with like a major manufacturer and I was triggered by this because of the, uh, uh, the Russian knife builder, uh, CKF knives from Russia with knives and they had uh, in their Instagram profile this line like looking for new knife collabs and collaborations uh, and I was really interested in this uh, so I sent them a message and they kind of blew me off um, but once I was posting a bit of pictures of this prototype of the Mythalus they were uh, I got some response from from we from we knives and they liked my picture and uh, so I decided from heck I'm just gonna try it uh, I'm gonna try if I can get one of these uh, collaborations as well was thinking about uh, from if uh, Spyderco comes and ask or if Boker comes and ask but those companies they don't come and ask you have to get out there yourself so. Um, I send them, I send we knives a little message via Instagram uh, and they responded from hey we're quite interested uh, send us uh, an email on this and this address so uh, this was at 10 October 2016 earlier this year uh, and I you know, like the day after I send them an email from uh, hey we knives I'm Alexander I'm a Dutch designer from the Netherlands um, and uh, I have this knife design and are you interested in doing a knife collaboration? Uh, and luckily for me they really quickly responded from yes we are interested uh, what what are your ideas how do you want to cooperate because they do also a lot of OEM knife making so that's knife making for someone else and they just put that somebody else's label on it and uh, what are your ideas about it uh, so I was a bit flabbergasted by the success I was already having because uh, I tried this before with MSR and I'll put a link up here for a coffee maker and MSR blew me off completely as well uh, didn't even give me a response as uh, once I had the, the technical director and we were emailing uh, but uh, I was really surprised that we knives wanted to talk uh, and they said uh, we like your design, it's very good, I have to quote here, it's very good, but how do you want to continue? So I had to think and I was in from We Knives as a major manufacturer, they sell to 27 countries all over the world, they have a dealership. Uh, so I'm not going to get rich of this, this, because they don't do a lot of knives, and I don't try to be getting rich of making knives. Uh, but like design, uh, a bit of fame as a designer, it's always nice. So 
I emailed her back and I said, uh, I want uh, to be recognized as the designer, so you have to state that I designed this knife. Uh, I want like a royalty fee, money, uh, and I want to make a few, uh, to make and sell a couple of them by hand each year. Um, and they responded, like every day at a quarter to five, I got a new email from the from Wee Knives, and uh, we just started ping ponging. Uh, I sent them an email, and a day later, at the same uh, time, they would email me back. Uh, and this process it, it took around a month, and um, we finally managed to get this collab uh, uh, where it is right now. But um, they said, yeah, from yeah, we can live with that. Uh, what kind of uh, royalty fee are you looking at? So I first needed to know how many knives they were making, like if they were gonna sell it. 10,000 times and was only going to sell it for 100 euros then it would be very very cheap but if they only make 300 and I'm going to ask 3,000 euros uh, and they're going to sell them for 300 each uh, if you have to have a very high price for the design uh, there's not a lot of profit um, so they replied we do 200 to 300 knives per series and if a, a series runs very well we can make multiple multiple series of it so it was uh, quite interesting to have my knife design in the hands of at least 300 people so i said uh, okay and then we knives said me what about we outright uh, outright buy the license of the your design so that means fixed price up front uh, and for that price we can make as many as we want to uh, which is great because I get money up front uh, but if I have like a royalty fee uh, and I get two dollars per knife and then they sell ten thousand knives then I get twenty thousand dollars and not the three hundred dollars I uh, settled for up front so uh, if I take a fixed, free, a fixed fee then there is little risk for me, but if I take a royalty fee, there is more risk for me because uh, if they I send them design and they own the design and they decide not to start making it, then I don't get any ma money because they don't sell any knives. So this was for me a very hard thing to figure out what I'm am I going to do, and then they said like, um, let's outright buy uh, the, the the rights to your design. So I was trying, then the next step came, and which, was, which is always money. Um, and I had to figure out how much is a design like this worth. Uh, and there are so many knife designs, and so many great knife designs, and so many different knife designs. Uh, so how much is this worth? Um, so I made a calculation on, on the hours I made, and all the prototyping costs I did, and... Um, but I was trying to f get an estimate from them, from what are you willing to give, and they kindly responded, No, just tell us about how much you want. Um, and I know Chinese people, they uh, don't like the directness we Dutch have. So it was very hard, but I said, um, I want $2,000. <laughs> and I got this response like, 2000? Are you serious? It's way more than we usually pay. We usually pay uh, a couple of hundred to uh, something uh, below a thousand dollars. So I was, I was like over four times from what, from what they normally pay. Uh, so I screwed that up a bit, but um, then it was like, okay, only... 400, 500, 600 dollars. It's, it's a lot of money. It's like the amount of money my mill costed me, but it's not what I had hoped for. Uh, but on the other hand, I think for me the the the, the added value in this deal is uh, is the marketing aspect because they are going to sell uh, my knife. Uh, with my name on it, designed by Alexander Ball. 
So uh, I was already having such a nice feeling with Wee Knives that I decided to stick with it. So I bumped my price up a bit. Uh, and then they made me a new offer, offer and they said, um, why not uh, give you like this much money uh, and you'll get a free, po a free prototype of the knife. Which is also very cool because then I have actually something to show people. Um, so uh, I said okay. So then we did like a quick summary and this was at the beginning of November. Uh, we did a quick summary. Uh, I have to be stated as the designer. Uh, I'm allowed to make 10 pieces uh, by hand and sell these uh, each year. Um, I get a fixed royalty fee and I get uh, a prototype knife from Wii Knives from before they start production. So um, they said, yeah, we can live with that. So I was already very, very excited at this point. Uh, but then the really hard part came. Because they asked, we want to see your cat files. Because I, I, they knew I had cat files. Uh, I had it all completely computer designed. And they said, we want to see your cat files before we pay. And this is a very sensitive point. Because I work in LED lighting. We never ever ever send anything to China uh, without like uh, a lot of documents signed up front uh, but it's not uh, valid in court if I don't have someone in China uh, sign it to hold uh, Wii Knives responsible so I had like I had to guess and hope they would be fair to me and not uh, rip me off uh, so <laughs> I sent <laughs> cat files to China without having an insurance whatsoever um, because you know, I gave them everything uh, but they did this inspection and they said uh, we like the design we think it's perfectly uh, good uh, and we're capable of making it and then uh, a couple of days later uh, they paid me uh, so I had the money up front the fixed price and um, that was like the first real knife collaboration I did I made really exciting also, still not quite sure how I, how I, a European person, managed to trick Chinese people and paying me for a design, which is... But yeah, it was a, a really, really fun experience. And yeah, I had to uh, figure out a lot of stuff, like uh, how much is my design worth? How I'm going to uh, go to these people? like. Sending him a message through Instagram is like not a solid business plan and trying to sell designs. Uh, and also, uh, am I gonna ask them to put a logo on it or is that too much? Like my Imagine Designs logo. Or am I going to ask them to make it that I'm allowed to make 20 knives a year by hand? Or So, yeah, for me as a designer, because I'm more like a designer than I am a creator or a maker. I enjoy more designing knives than uh, making them, I guess. Because as soon as I have one finished and I have figured everything out, I'm way more interested in uh, designing the, knife, the next knife. Uh, but uh, for me as a designer, it was a really cool experience. And from the money uh, I received from them, the first thing I did was uh, uh, take my girlfriend out to dinner because that's what you do when you get a royalty fee you you have a treat you you treat your family and uh, my girlfriend so that was the first thing I did and uh, all in all the progress took uh, about a month so on the 4th of November I got my payment and uh, around 40 emails uh, but yeah really happy and I, I hope I'll get some recognition from it worldwide. So that was like the official part of the announcement and how it uh, came to be. Uh, I wrote down some questions maybe you had and I'll try to answer them.